Hello everybody, welcome back to my name is Josh and I sell used junk on eBay. Today is a Monday morning. We got 60 some orders going out today. A whole lot of stuff. It's been a really good weekend to sell as well. Let me take that back. Friday was absolutely great. Saturday was absolutely, absolutely great. Also, I didn't ship on Friday, so that's part of why we have more orders than normal. I ship Thursday night. I do have that two day handling time. So yeah, a lot of stuff going out. 60 orders. Sunday though was just kind of a mediocre day, but Friday, Saturday, absolutely great days. Sunday. Sunday was okay. I can't complain about it one bit. But we got a lot of stuff going out. Got a few items I'm waiting on payments for. Hopefully they pay while I'm here. One pair of Harley exhaust mufflers. So I'm hoping those pay because I'd like to get those out of here today. But if not, oh well. I'll end and relist in a few days if they never pay. But anyways, I had something I didn't want to talk about today. I don't know what it is. Let's just talk through the plan for the week. So today is a Monday. Right after I leave here, I'm gonna go buy some stuff. I don't really know what all I'm getting, honestly. I know there's a bunch of smaller boxes, like five by five by six or something like that, that I'm gonna pick up fairly cheap. I think there's some silver. There's like a cylinder press of some sort. I, I, I don't remember what all I'm getting, but I'm gonna go get that stuff today. I'll show you all what I get. We'll bring you along for that. Show you guys afterwards. I'm not gonna show you while I'm there. Um, what else? Today, we'll show you shipping something. I like to do that at the end of each of my videos. I'll show you how to ship something out. If you wanna know how to ship something, leave me a comment in the description down below or in the comment section and I'll do that. So today's Monday, that's what we're doing today. Probably list all that stuff I get, plus a little bit of just random other stuff we have laying around. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Tuesday, we are going to go buy a trailer load of books and I will process through that trailer probably get all the processing done Tuesday. Wednesday, I've got somebody coming to photograph a bunch of media. So I'll probably have a whole bunch of books for them if we got good books. And I will hopefully be sending off Amazon boxes on Wednesday. Thursday, don't know what I'm gonna do yet. We're gonna see what's needed, what I need to finish up because Thursday night, we're actually gonna leave, go out of town for a couple of days. I'm not gonna be able to ship on Friday because of that. So I'm gonna extend my handling time by one extra day. Which is totally fine because I'll ship Thursday morning and then extend my handling time right before I go do that. So that's the plan. That's the plan for this week. So yeah, hopefully we get some good stuff while we're out of town and I'm going to go pick up some stuff. We'll see what we get, but that's not the main purpose of that trip. But anyways, let's show you guys what's sold. All right. So we got a couple of media lots on the floor. One is a lot of 200 CDs. These are CDs that either are genres that I don't sort out individually or just Discogs didn't know what genre they were. So I just put them in there, put them out really cheap. I think we got like 50 or 60 bucks for those 200. So that's cool. Moving them out, get them out of here. But I'd have that space. This is a lot of Reader's Digest condensed books. I do not like try to find these. I don't buy them, but if they come in book lots, like I'm picking up on Tuesday, I'll set them to the side till I get a bunch and then sell them for a dollar or two a piece. So that's what we got there, those big lots, kind of getting rid of some bulk media. Very glad to clear up that space. Up here, we got more of our better stuff. We got this holster. This is to a Colt something, can't remember off the top of my head. World War II era, really, really nice. We got some sewing machine parts. We have this little needle plate. This holds in like your bobbin. This is off of a Bernina 1530. I've got three more of these to part out. Part out one, I've already sold like four parts off of it. So I might go ahead and do the other one. But I mentioned before, I've been setting off any duplicate machines I have to the side, but since this one's selling so fast, because I just parted this out a couple of days ago, I might go ahead and pull that machine, pull one more of those apart. Little needle throat plate off of a Singer something or other. Man, we got a lot of sewing machine parts today. Bobbin door off of an Elma 225, I believe. Let's see. Oh, and this like attaches to the thread tensioner. I think this is off an older Singer, if I remember correctly. So those, oh, I'm gonna have to do the rest of the sewing machine parts. Sewing machine parts are doing really good. I will probably pass $1,700 this month in sewing machine sales. If today goes good, we shall see. But yeah, first time passing $1,700 in sewing machine parts sales in a month. Got one little light to, this came off an old path machine I had. I think it was like a Model 30. Here is like your, yeah, 
We'll do this one first. Singer 15, if I remember correctly. The front nose cover. Got a whole bunch of those machines. And this is like needle rod, presser rod, and all sorts of stuff up with the Singer. And then two motors. Both these direct drive motors. Those motors do pretty darn good. So that's everything we got as far as sewing machine parts, hopefully. Except for what's in the other unit. And what's at home. I have a lot of stuff at home today, actually. I'm going to pop it all up on the screen. I know we got some good 78s. I think there's three of them going out. There's like an old truck mirror. Maybe some other automotive stuff. Might be a CD or two. And there's a couple sewing machine parts. That should be it at home. Here we got one vintage sweatshirt. This is, says Ranger Boats on it. Which is pretty cool. Made in the USA and all that great stuff. Up here we got one concert ticket. That is going out from 1991. Pretty cool. One photograph. This sold for like $6 and around 50 cents. This is really cool. There's like a whole family. They're doing all these things outside. Old house there. Pretty cool looking. No date on the back. I wish there was. And then we got some CDs. Artichoke Perfume. Kim Sung J. This one did really good. I think we got like around $80 on it. This one was another good one. I think this was like $30. Donnie Iris. Here we got Slap of Reality. Three lefts make a right. And last but not least, Texas, USA. John Burroughs, Cowboy Songs, and Country Hymns. Those are all the CDs down in this unit. We do have one DVD, Trading Christmas. Christmas stuff, if you got it, list it now. My daughter was actually wanting to watch Elf last night. So yeah, people are starting to think about their Christmas movies. We got the DVDs. The price will increase just a hair this time of year. We got some shirts. This is a course. Man, this thing was really badly stained, but I got almost all the stains out. I was using this OxyClean like spray bottle. It was doing really good. I'll put a link to it down in the description, but it did really great on this shirt because this thing was terribly stained. But it's like a Coors Pearl Snap button up vintage shirt. I think we got like $40 on that. If I wasn't able to get off those stains, it probably would have been more like $15, $20. Here's a pair of Ariat fire resistant jeans. Size on these matters a whole lot. So yeah, really your bigger sizes don't do as good as far as in bigger waist. And then we got some books. We'll go through these real quick. We got one Bible. Not a lot of value on that Bible, unfortunately. Then we got a lot of 20 golden books. Once again, I don't seek these out, but if I find them, kind of like my Reader's Digest, I will set them to the side and then sell them off in lots like this. We got Cases of American, oh wait, not, not American. This is like Commercial Law by Bayes. Here's an old Bible that did really good. This thing is in amazing condition. If you're new to the channel, Every five minutes, which I've been recording for almost exactly five minutes, you have to walk over here and trip that light sensor. So we just did that. This is really cool. This is a quarter collector's album, but it's completely full. There's like $20 in quarters in here, somewhere around that. And I sold it for like $50. So turn $20 into $50. I stick them in this book. Well, I didn't stick them in this book. I found them like this. So very happy with that. What else we got down here? Another book. It's like a medical dictionary. And last but not least, we got some more golden books. These are all Christmas ones. So I separate the Christmas ones. I separate the Disney ones. And then everything else I put in a big lot. And that's how I sell off my golden books. So yeah, went through all those probably about two weeks ago. And I only have my Disney lot left. Everything else is sold. But anyways, I'm going to put this all in the Ikea bag over on the cart. Roll this cart back in here, which is becoming just a mess. I really need to put everything away that's on it. And then we're going to go down to the other unit and find the rest of these 60 items. Because I know there's some more. Real quickly, I found one more thing in this unit that I forgot. This is a Teamster Steward pin. Those are actually diamonds in there. I've got three of these and I sold this one for $50. Took just a slightly lower offer on it because I've got three of them and I need to sell through them. So... Got one sold for 50, but yeah, Teamster Union steward pin going out $50. Keep an eye out for these. All right, so down here, I think maybe I've got everything. I'm not 100% sure. We're we'll starting on the floor here. First set is a set of cassettes. These are all like Christian, gospel, that type of thing. Those are going out. 
These sold at almost the same time, so I went and checked just a minute ago to see who bought them, and it's different buyers. This one is actually, this is just a lot of miscellaneous things. Once again, cassettes, either I didn't have a lot of that genre, or I didn't know what genre they were. One of the two, but anyways, these were actually bought by Urban Picker. That is James over at Adoption Agency. If you want to check out his channel, much bigger than mine. Probably most of you guys know who he is, but he bought all these cassettes for me, so that's pretty cool. I think like $18, so... Those are going out to him, and these are going out to a different buyer. I was hoping those were going to the same buyer and I could combine them, but oh well. Still pretty cool to see those going to James. Sold some fishing stuff. I had one buyer message me and ask. They said they wanted to try them all out, so I'm sending them one of each of these. So we got seven here and made a listing. I think we did like $20 or somewhere around there for one of each of the seven different styles I have here. So that's good. Glad to see that selling. Very happy with it. I do have that listing still up with multi-quantity. Although I need to add a picture of all seven of the things I have in it. I just put like a generic strike bait picture as the main picture. So I am going to photograph those seven. I went ahead and already threw them in here. Photograph those before I ship them out. Another sewing machine part. And here's this pen. I actually had two of these and now I've sold the second one. So I'm glad to see both of those sell before Christmas. Very happy about that. We got some CDs. Fresh old time string band music. Olaf Johansson. I've sold a few of these. Not that they've got CD, but by the same artist. PEE, The Roaring Mechanism. Xeno Gears, we have disc one and two. These do have some like video land stickers on them and different things. But yeah, those were in bad shape, but I did clean them up with the disc resurfacer we have. Zodob C. Zadub. I don't know. That's it for CDs today. Oh, this foot pedal just sold while I was here pulling stuff. I had to go down the other unit and grab it. I think this might put me over $1,700 in sewing machine part sales this month. So very happy about that. If not, we're really close. We just need one more part. Um, here's just a seal. Some old Ford part going out. We got one hat. Been doing really a lot of... I haven't listed much lately, but my older like military style camo has been selling good. Don't know if that's because it's hunting season or if it's just because of what's going on in the world but i am seeing an uptick in sales of that so if you got any laying around and it's unlisted now might be the time to get that up got one bracelet going out this has been listed a while it's libra like a little brass piece pretty cool kind of like that i don't know why um, let's see I want to say this is a Wrangler Pearl Snap shirt, if I remember correctly. A little bit heavier weight. Been listed a long time. Some sort of new with tags vintage shirt. If it wasn't new with tags, it would not have been listed. I don't know, I'm not even going to pretend to remember what this is. Some sort of vintage sweatshirt, it looks like. I'll put it up on the screen. I should have looked over my clothing and seen what it was this time. So I could tell you guys. One baseball glove. It's been a while since we've sold a baseball glove. It's not really the right time of year, but one Wilson glove. Two pieces of fabric, both Christmas. Did I pull three? Is there supposed to be three here? I don't think there's supposed to be three. So we're going to double check that. Probably put one of those back. And last but not least is this clock that's been listed about two years. It only halfway works. It plays music and it has a clock. I can't remember if the clock is broken or if the music's broken at this point. But if not, it would have been like a $60, $70 clock. At least when I last looked up comps. But we got $30 plus shipping for it. So I'm not too mad about that. It'll be easy to ship. But anyways, I'm going to put this fabric. And then I'm going to go show you what we're about to buy. Because I don't even know what I'm about to buy. Let's go look. All right, so we're back home. I spent $90 on everything today. Let me know what you guys think. Jericho's over here playing. Say hi, Jericho. Hi. So yeah, you might hear him in the background. Right? So that is what it is. But we're going to show you guys what we bought for $90, right? Hi. All right, let's take a look. All right, I'm going to start down here at this end of the table because it's the simplest. we got a whole bunch of these pre-recorded VHS tapes. I usually get a dollar a piece in lots on these. Somewhere between $150 to $200 here. And that was kind of my rationalization for doing this. This is all my money back, plus a little bit of profit. Super, super fast. Easy to list, ship, store. It's cold outside. All of it's great. Jericho says it's cold outside, right? Okay. Over here. I have no idea on this. This is some sort of like air powered cylinder press thing. 
if I sell this, I'm just gonna take the cylinder off, sell it separately. I need to see if that ram will go back in there easily if this thing's working. So I need to deal with that, but this thing's really good. So Bimba is the brand. Looking this one up, brand new. These sell for like 300 bucks, just a cylinder. So should be at least $100 there. Maybe more, maybe less. I don't know. Excuse me, Jericho. Walking through here. Can I hold you? Yeah, just one second. We're almost done. Got a little bit more of this fish stuff thrown in this time. Got some other frog. Maybe this is all frog. I don't know. Just kind of got this thrown in. Oh, and some garlic. These are in different bottles than the other ones we're in, though. So we got that. Oh, here we go. This is just some silver. That was a part of the deal. I don't know if I can get this open or not. Jericho, are you climbing up here? Yeah. Jericho's wanting attention, so we're going to have to be done pretty soon. Don't know what all we got here. I know there is just one regular quarter. There's a mercury dime. It's cold outside. It's cold outside. I can't Look. see. We got some of these other things. I can't see. Don't know if they're any good or not. Here, back up, Jericho. One more second. We're almost done. One pair of bugle boy pants. Very quickly. One pair of Levi's orange tab. I can't see. California straights. I can't see. You can't see. Say hi. It's on you now. Okay, let's pause this and then we'll show everybody else everything else in just a minute. All right, I got a couple seconds. I'm playing hide and seek real quick. One real photo postcard. Probably not big money here, but I think that will sell. And then we got some comics. I don't know what to think about these comics yet. I don't know if we got anything good here or not, but I'm going to look through it. The guy I bought them from seemed to think this is where the most of the value was. And the deal we just did, I'm just going to flip through these real quickly. I'm just not seeing anything that I particularly think is worth big money, but also this is not stuff I know a lot about. So I'm going to look these up just because he thought they had some good value. So maybe they will. And he's right a lot of the time. I just, I don't know. If I'd seen these at a garage sale, I would have ran away from them, but we got these. Most of these are bagged and boarded, but they're not all bagged and boarded. Who knows? Maybe I got something good here. Maybe not. You guys can also maybe tell me down in the description. But yeah. A little bit of everything. But that's what I paid $90 for today. Would you have paid $90 for all this stuff? Or would you have ran away? Most of the reason why I did this purchase... Jurassic Park tops? I don't know. The reason I did this purchase mostly was because I knew I had all my money back plus some profit with those VHS and then everything else. It's just going to be profit on top. Those two pairs of jeans will both do really good. These are all cheap, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So, money back plus a little bit of profit here, which is what I'm going to work on today. Got some more of these. Jeans, I'm gonna put away until I do clothing. Silver, I will keep. Postcard will go in the pile. This I've gotta deal with this week. Maybe ask my brother if he wants that. Seems like the type of thing he would like. And these comics, I'll have to look up. Man, I need to do that today. So yeah, that's what we got going on. Let's go show you one item, how I ship it. All right, I'm gonna show you real quickly how I ship out my sewing machine motors. So real quickly, I've taken this motor, I've wrapped it in small bubble wrap from American Bubble Boy. I'll put links to all these supplies down in the description. I'm gonna take it and then I'm gonna put it in this box. This is an eight by six by four box. I don't wanna show you the label too much, but I'm gonna put it in there. Then I'm gonna take some packing paper, put it on top, close up the box. Now, these typically end up being just over a pound. This one is actually just over two pounds because it's a little bit heavier. And to ship these, I'm typically going to pirate ship and using ground advantage cubic rate, which is going to be the best way to ship them. Sometimes it's best to actually take this thing and like make it just a little bit shorter, squish it down, stick it into a padded flat rate. But that's only like if it's going to Hawaii or Puerto Rico or somewhere like that. Typically ground advantage cubic is the way to go. And that's how I ship my sewing machine motors.